Slab chain. Welcome back today guys to the channel for some Forza Motorsport 6 in the background. Today though is not about the gameplay, it's about the audio. Now something that you know I've been struggling with for quite some time to really perfect over the years of doing YouTube and it's something that is very tough to do with my schedule. You know I'm constantly on the go, I'm trying to just you know conserve time as much as possible and realistically you know it is a, you know it's not the easiest thing to do to get videos ready every single day. I'm not complaining by any means necessary, I'm just saying that the audio is half the battle of recording. You need to make sure that your audio is, you know, perfectly in line with the gameplay, it's not too loud. I use the Elgato game capture software, so I'm usually, I don't have the ability to change the audio levels as I'm going. So once I've recorded it, uh, you know, it's pretty much set in stone unless I want to go ahead and pick out the audio in the folders and, you know, try to match it all up. It's time consuming is what I'm getting at. now. Recently, I thought to myself, I was like, you know what, let's step up the audio game. My man Dubs, he sent me a message saying, Slap, are you ever going to get a new microphone? Now, I looked into it because obviously, like I said, you know, I'm using a very simple setup. I have an iMac, I use Final Cut Pro, I use the Elgato software. And, you know, up to this point, I haven't really been having any issues. You know, I've been trying to just, like I said, fine tune everything. So, I, you know, I figured why not go out and try to get a better microphone. Now, I looked in to the Rode NT USB microphone, and uh, it's $230 on Amazon. Now, if you guys don't know, um, I've been using a very cheap microphone. Um, I mean, it wasn't cheap back when it first came out, but the Blue Snowball microphone and the brushed aluminum can be found right now on Amazon for $69.83 on sale, regular $103. Now, to be honest with you, this is probably one of my favorite mics that I've ever used. You know, I like them so much, I have two of them. I have one for my main desk office when I'm, you know, doing top tens and, you know, overlays, and then I have one on my boom microphone. So that was, you know, kind of a setup that I've ran with for a long time. And I've always questioned, you know, should I go out and get a better microphone? Now, for what I do, though, the purposes of, you know, what I'm trying to accomplish with the audio, you know, I'm very loud, I'm very vocal, you know, I'm always kind of moving around with the wheel. So, you know, I need a microphone that can pick up a wide range of, you know, audio coming at it, not just, you know, strictly being in front of the mic and not being able to move as if you were in a recording studio. Now. I gotta be honest, you know, I was really excited with the Rode mic, I got the boom as well too with it. Now it doesn't matter what happens with this video, I will be keeping the boom for sure, but I do have a return policy on the Rode microphone with Amazon, so I think I have about a good two week span with it. Now I've used it twice for videos and they didn't go over the greatest, you know, people were kind of saying, what the hell is going on with your mic slab, you know, are you alright, you sound a little weird. It just didn't go over the way that I expected it and I mean to be honest with you my first impressions with the microphone I was a little bit upset with it now I mean like I said this is something where you got to understand that these microphones are built for specific tasks at hand and I do believe that the Rode mic is really just made for you know capturing some really crisp and clean audio as you know if you are a singer in a sound booth or anything like that but the first time that I plugged in that microphone and got the first audio test um, I just I just wasn't happy whatsoever with it and I mean unfortunately you know I can't really change any of the audio on the microphone like I can with the snowball as you guys know there's three switches at the back to kind of change the audio in the microphone not too sure exactly how it works or what each one does but you know you just kind of find the one that you personally like and I mean like I said it was just it was a very kind of weird audio sound from what I was used to on the snowball and you know I just I just wasn't really happy with it and I, you know you guys are thinking right now slap well let's hear the damn thing if you got it not a problem so we got this right here now I'm gonna play you the audio without any kind of audio enhancement on it now pretty much what I mean by that is any kind of audio effects to kind of you know enhance the vocal range or just I don't know what the hell I'm talking about let's just roll the damn footage here we're gonna switch over to the Rode microphone the NT USB Keep in mind, this is a $230 microphone from Amazon plus taxes. So ladies and gentlemen, three, two, one. So this is the Rode mic with uh, pretty much no audio effects on it whatsoever. Just, you know, a bass, 
right out of the box, plugged it in, hit record, and as you guys can tell, you really need to be close to it. I am literally about maybe an inch and a half away from this microphone, and I feel like I'm not even really speaking loud on the overlay on the audio. It shows kind of, you know, the bars on where the volume's hitting with the frequency, and it's not even really hitting that loud. So, I mean, that's the problem that I was having, where if I step back from the mic for, you know, a split second, you can kind of hear it. I go almost right out of the shot, and it really did make for some tough times. Now, what I did like about this mic, though, now, hold on, though. I'm going to show you guys what I was doing with it to kind of make it a little bit more crisp and clean on the final production. So we're going to go ahead and throw our effects on this thing. Now, as I was saying, though, as you are using the microphone, I really enjoyed this because you can actually hook this up to an external camera. I was actually running this microphone on my Sony camcorder through the headphone jack that's on the mic, ran that out to the microphone output on the Sony camcorder, and I was able to use that audio on there. So it does have its advantages. You can also kind of monitor the audio, I'm assuming if you're on PC with a little bit of a better setup than what I'm running, but there are a few knobs on there. They're pretty much useless, uh, to me at least, since I am running on the Mac. But, I mean, let me know your thoughts down below. There is going to be a poll up right now for you guys on your screen through YouTube. So click on that. Tell me which one you like. Do you like the Rode microphone, which you guys are listening to right now, or do you prefer the Blue Snowball microphone? Now, keep in mind, like I said, they're two totally different mics for two totally different purposes. Now, I feel though, like I said, for what I'm doing, the Blue Snowball fits my needs. And I mean, a $70 microphone, it sounds cheap, but this has really been the most reliable and I would say best sounding microphone for what I'm trying to do. And I mean, to be honest with you, the best budget microphone in this category. I mean, $69 is a hell of a better deal than $230. Now, if you guys do have the Rode NT microphone, um, I'd love to know your thoughts down below. What are the settings that you use? Does it sound similar to mine? I just, I wasn't happy with the overall kind of audio that I got right out of the box from there. And you guys can kind of hear that yourself. It's very kind of, it, it almost, I don't know how to say it properly. It kind of makes me sound like I'm in a tin can, if you will. It's it, it's it's really weird. I'm not kind of downgrading the product because you know I really don't know too much in particular about the microphone. So I don't want to you know dive into that. I just seen Rode. I seen a USB microphone for what I need. USB is perfect, and I ran with it. And unfortunately, I mean, like I said, it's just not what I'm looking for. Thankfully, we do have a return policy, but I wanted to at least go over with you guys and you know ask your thoughts and opinions now I'm very much an impulse buyer and this is a perfect example of you know what an impulse buy can do for you I know what you're thinking right now slab did you not do any research before buying it you just go out and pull the trigger not at all I actually looked at quite a few videos before deciding to buy this and I mean it was a hefty price tag at the end of it because obviously like I said I had the boom and the mic so you know I just I knew I had the kind of safety net with the return policy and I feel like it was you know a microphone that I really needed to test out with my voice and you know what I'm doing with my vocals to really you know make sure that it was going to be a proper purchase so I mean at the end of the day solid microphone I love it it's just not what I'm looking for I'd love to know your thoughts down below and I just wanted to at least you know get this message out for you guys and let you know so that way we can kind of have an open discussion down below in the comments section if you guys have anything that I can improve on my audio as well too constructively leave it down below in the comments section would love to see those comments I'm constantly trying to get on those comments you know just continuously read them like them and throw those hearts on them as well too for a quick reply just to let you guys know that I at least seen the message now ladies and gentlemen though that's going to pretty much do it for today's episode and I leave you with the final question of the Blue Snowball or the Rode NT condenser USB microphone. If you guys have any recommendations for a better microphone that you think that I would like, leave that down below as well too and I'll definitely go over that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. This is not a paid or sponsored video in any way, shape, or form. Um, I actually have no contact with either company just before you guys start pointing fingers and saying that I was paid by Blue Snowball to do this review or whatever this is. Comparison, not at all, man. But I will say though, I've been using the Blue Snowball for a long time. I actually received my first one as a gift and just never really looked back on it. So I just gotta say, a solid microphone. Let me know your thoughts down below. Ladies and gentlemen, huge thank you once again for coming around for today's episode. We got a huge weekend planned. I'm pretty damn excited and moving forward for the week ahead. 
should be pretty damn fun, man. So if you guys have not already, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the bell down below. You guys can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box down below. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Slab Train. I'm out. Peace.